Yeah. Yeah. Well, the key to cleaning up this catastrophe, though, could be an invention from a woman in West Bloomfield. Yeah, the feds already have her testing data, and what she manufactures, you probably have in your kitchen tonight. Local Force Mara McDonald is live in West Bloomfield tonight. And Mara, this is all about corn cobs. Uh, it sure is, Ruth, and this is, I mean, essentially the same kind of stuff you buy in the supermarket, but it is a special piece of this ear, and it's got to be processed in a special way. These were wonders. It may look like an old corn cob to you and me, but to Adria Brown, it's a patented technology called Golden Retriever. I believe that they have to use it because it's clean, it doesn't release, it's not messy, it's, you can extract 100% of whatever it takes up. It holds 500 times its weight. Brown's company, Recovery One, has thousands of tons of these specially dried cobs that soak up oil and other chemicals in a matter of hours. Made out of the same corn you see in the supermarket. It's been a 17 year long development project that is now being looked at by the U.S. Senate as a way to somehow minimize the damage from that catastrophic BP oil spill. What became so unique and, and the miracle is that once the cob has absorbed the oil, it holds it to itself and it doesn't release like other products. The specially processed cobs roll over the surface of the water and soak up the oil. And listen to this. Once skimmed out of the water, the oil can then be salvaged out of the cobs. It may not be suitable for gasoline, but can be used in heating and motor oils. Brown's breakthrough is patented in both the U.S. and Canada. No easy road for the woman who started out testing her theories with honeycomb and cooking oil. I mean, I became very impassioned. I just made up my mind. I had to do it. Back here live, Brown says she's got 34,000 tons of these specially processed cobs ready to go. We're live in West Bloomfield. Mara McDonald, Local 4. All right, good for her. Thank you, Mara. And we're told one of the leaders especially interested in her breakthrough, not surprisingly, Senator Charles Grassley from Corn Loving, Iowa.